have got enemies that are behind you. Mm-hmm. You hear me? Yes. If you don't pray, you know, the people will try to attack you. You hear me, sir? I hear, sir. Huh? You need I to hear, pray. Pastor. You need to pray. Amen. There are spirits that are behind you who want to confuse your destiny. Amen. Come here. Look here. Did you try to do business before? Uh, no. Okay? No. So don't do it. Because your mind always says, do business, do mm. business. Eh? Eh? It's true. Eh, it says, do business. You are going to confuse the plan of God if you do that. Amen. Amen. Eh? And always you are denying, but mm. you will go back yes. and deny. Come on. Leave this brother. Men must succeed in Jesus' name. You are going to be a voice. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday life service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Maganenisa. With me here today is my father, who is located during the service, and the man of God ministered upon his life. So kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Okay. Uh, my name is Pastor Pule Mofukeng. And I'm coming from Free State in Frankfurt. Today during the service, the man of God located you and ministered upon your life. I'd love that you please tell us in detail what he said to you and please confirm it. Okay, what the man of God said to me, he spoke about enemies. He said to me, he, said to me, uh, he saw that I've got uh, many enemies, people who are against me, and that I should pray uh, the more. Yes, that is the word of prophecy. And according to what he said, I can believe because at sometimes uh, we encounter some problems in the ministry. And since the beginning of our ministry, since I've started uh, being active in the ministry, uh, I had uh, many quarrels with many people in the ministry. And because of that, some of them, they left the ministry they went to some other churches. So it was not my concern, but after what the man of God has said to me, uh, I, I believe that God has brought a, uh, the, the answer to the problem. Yes. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and spoke upon your life? Uh, I'm feel happy. I'm feel happy. You know, sometimes when you're waking for God and uh, you need some answers, you ask yourself many questions. But if you are located by the man of God, and then uh, I feel happy. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Where's your wife? She went to work today, sir. Huh? She went to work today. Sir, sir, the sir, last sir. time we came and you went to Dubai, we didn't know. That's, uh, oh, you came with your wife, I was not here. Yeah, you were in Dubai. Yeah, your wife is under attack. You understand? She's telling you that there's a problem. Better work there. Yes. Eh? Yes. So what are you going to do about that? Pray about it, sir. Let me pray for you. These enemies will live there. You understand? Go! You people, you are under attack. Come on! For me to this thing. Come on! For me, this thing that you are giving you people, this thing is bad luck. Kneel down, you'll for me this thing. Mama, did you lose your house? Huh? Did you lose your house? Yes. Mm. You must not worry. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. You must not worry. Amen. It was, it's like the, the bank has repossessed your house. Amen. So I'll come here and pray for you. I want God to give you another house. Bring that mama here. 
Mama, God will give you another house. Eh? Lift her up for the last time. <laughs> Mama, receive your house. You're free. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makananisa. With me here today is my mother, who was located during the service by the man of God who ministered upon her life. Ma'am, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Sponyu Lekekana. I'm from Captain Park. Today during the service, the man of God located you and spoke to you. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. No, he just told me that uh, my house has been repossessed by the bank, which is true. So he said to me, God will bless me with another house. Yes. And how has this affected you? It affected me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It affected me so much because of it also affected my children. But I believe God has allocated me today. And God has touched me. Whatever that happened was not mine. He's going to bring me another house that he deserved that I must have with my family. So these tears is not tears of pain, but it's a tears of saying, whoever listening to me, whatever what you're going through, just know that God is always with you. God is watching you. One day you will find peace and you will receive more. In Jesus' name, I thank you for everything what Charisse has done for me. Not only for this today, but there's more Charisse has done for me. I thank God for that. I thank God for that. Go, bless you. Eh? Thank you, Jesus. You must not give up. You have given up. Yes. Eh? Yes. Ah, God is not seeing me. It's true. Eh? It's true. Dude. So you see, God is blind. No. Why do you say God is not seeing? That's very tough. Hmm? That's very tough. Can I just go there? Stop there. You are free today from this demon. In Jesus' name. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makanenisa. With me here today is my sister who was located during the service by the Apostle who ministered upon her life. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. I'm Lebaham Butlalawa. I'm coming from Tembisa. Today during the service, the Apostle located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. David said to me, God is blessing me because he's seeing that I've already given up in life. Yes, indeed, it's true. Because of the challenges of life that I was going through, I was already given up. Nothing was moving. So today, men of God located me and tell me that God is going to bless me. And how long has these problems that you are mentioning right now been happening and how has they been affecting you? I can say the problem started the last year, November, last year, October, no, when the father of my children was losing a job and the money has been delaying to get his money. He was planning to go to finish paying Lobola at my family, but up until now. He didn't get. He didn't get even any cent. So life it was tough. Nothing. It was poverty left and right. I was trying to get a job. Nothing. It was very tough. And how do you feel that the man of God located you today and declared blessings upon your life, and further advised that you shouldn't give up? I feel like I'm having more confidence in God. I believe in God more and more, and I believe that. He is going to bless me as the man of God is saying that he is going to bless me. And I would like to advise many others out there, if you are having a problem, don't give up on God because he's not blind. He's seeing all our problems because I thought God was not seeing my situation. I thought I was just coming to church and go back home. 
nothing is changing so today i have i believe in god more and more and i have confidence in him Amen. can you come this lady brother can you come where's your wife eh? uh, because you you need to pray a lot you people okay to destroy this thing that we worship by your fathers okay you hear me yes because god wants to lift you Okay. Come here. Come. God will give you the grace today because you have allowed yourself to come here. You hear I, me? I've been praying about it. Eh? Uh huh? Uh huh? You say what? I've been praying about it. Stand up, stand up. Stand up. God is giving you the grace. <laughs> Did I touch him? The Vusa Mangoromera, the Vusa Mangoromera. Did you hear what I said, brother? Stand up. Because this man, he said, Yes, we'll pray about him. And I'm saying, Where is his wife? Because he must pray. He needs this grace. He want to hear from God, this man. It's true. Huh? 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 It's true. Take it in the name of Jesus. You know your wife is sick. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mama, let me pray for you to be healed. Because if not, this, you are free, this woman. Did it do operation? Hmm? Yes. Because I'm praying for you, I'm seeing operation. Come here. Hold hands with your husband. I want to pray for you. When did you do operation? 1996. Because when I touch you, I saw operation there. So this operation is giving you problems. You hear me? It is true. <coughs> That's why I was telling you that God wants to heal you. Amen. This operation is a problem. Okay. So God is healing this operation. 